Now, what supports your thesis that not only was this treason, uh, but that it was directly at the behest and in collaboration with uh, Russia's enemies, the NATO countries, its ancient enemy of Britain, and its slightly newer enemy of the United States? Well, let's just start off with um, some... I guess we would call it direct evidence uh, in the form of classified um, U.S. intelligence documents that were leaked by this airman uh, that uh, used TikTok or whatever he used to uh, disseminate the, uh, the the documents. There's several documents uh, that refer to uh, connections between the Ukrainian intelligence service and Prigozhin. Uh, these these that there were actual meetings in liaison uh, dating back to January of this year. Um, so there's there's that evidence there. Uh, but we also have some uh, indirect evidence. So I'll give you an example. The United States, we claim to be concerned about Russia's nuclear arsenal. We claim to desire to have the security that you hear us talk about uh, the dangers we feel exist when Russia deploys nuclear weapons into Belarus, what the security of these weapons are going to be. We also uh, claim that we are against um, you know, acts of violence, acts of terrorism, uh, things of this nature. We have a history of actually calling the Russian government up and warning them of impending terrorist actions. Uh, most recently, uh, a telephone call from the United States stopped a terrorist event in St. Petersburg. Um, so when you hear all this and then you see that the United States, the CIA briefed the Gang of Eight, the eight most powerful members of Congress, days before Prigozhin began his attack, briefing them on the attack. It means we knew, we knew something. Now, if we knew, and this was intelligence, and we're saying, oh my goodness, this is bad, we should pick up the phone and call Putin and say, hey, I know we're not friends right now, but there's a problem. Um, you have a threat coming in to overthrow your government, and it could threaten nuclear weapons security, and we want to give you a heads up so that the world doesn't spin out of control. But we remain silent, and it's not just silent, we're now being told that Congress was briefed by the CIA that we expected the Prigozhin mutiny to be extremely bloody, that we expected extreme violence. This means this is what we wanted to happen. And, you know, we were hoping that Prigozhin would generate a civil war in Russia, a civil war that would topple Vladimir Putin. So I think when you look at the direct evidence in the form of the documentation and the indirect evidence based upon behavioral patterns, uh, as an intelligence analyst, I have to tell you, if you slid that across my table, uh, the assessment that I'd be giving back to you is that it's more likely than not that the United States was involved in the Prigozhin mutiny. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, Please download the BG Media app to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts. Mm-hmm.